Assam is home to more than 1,100 DPIT registered startups, which are supported by over 10 startup incubators. And one of these incubators is The Nest, which was the first state-owned startup incubator to come up in Assam back in 2019. Since then, The Nest alone has incubated more than 250 startups and has even helped them to raise funds as well. And so today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the top 10 startups from Assam, and we're gonna be starting off in the city of Goati. Guwahati is Assam's biggest city, and it's also the perfect place in Northeast India for entrepreneurship. It has the market, it has access to talent thanks to institutes like Ayati Guwahati and Guwahati University, as well as the Nest, which of course offers support to entrepreneurs. And the first startup that I want to talk about from Guwahati is Zerund. So Zerund is a brick manufacturing startup that was founded by Rupam Chaudhary, Mausam Taluktar, and David Pratim Gogoi in 2018. And basically what they're doing is making bricks that are 15 to 20 percent cheaper than traditional bricks. On top of that, their bricks are also earthquake resistant, lightweight, and even eco-friendly. But how are they managing to do this? Well, they're actually making their bricks out of fly ash, which is a byproduct of burning coal and other plastic waste materials. They started manufacturing their bricks out of a small facility that they had leased in Goati, making 7,000 bricks every single month. And in just the first seven months of their operations, they had already brought in 32 lakh rupees, but that was just the start. Since then, Zerund has raised 11.5 crore rupees from their investors, and they use this money to expand their production capacity from just 7,000 bricks to 1.5 lakh bricks per month, and they sold bricks worth 2.5 crore rupees in FY22. The company claims that their revenue has grown by more than 4x for FY23, which is estimated to be around 10 crore rupees. All right, moving on to the next company in this list, but staying in Goati, we have a B2B e-commerce platform for restaurants called Shell. Mart. So back in 2016, Manindra Kalsi and his wife, Kavita Verma, had started their own restaurant called Three Guys. And while running this restaurant was definitely fun, procuring ingredients was a headache. They had to talk to multiple vendors to get a reasonable price, and oftentimes getting these fresh ingredients delivered on time was a challenge. And as it turns out, they weren't the only restaurant owners facing this problem. And so realizing that there was an opportunity to fill this gap in the market, by March of 2020, they had shut down their restaurant business and they had started working on a B2B e-commerce platform called Chef Mart, where restaurant owners could simply order their groceries and get them delivered on time without any hassle. Their online platform was finally launched in 2021, and by the end of their first year, they had already brought in 1.5 crore rupees in revenue, and this number went up to 4.2 crore rupees by FY22. These guys are solving a real problem for restaurant owners, and that's the reason why today, more than 350 restaurants are using Chef Mart to buy their ingredients. All right, coming up next in Goati, we have a 3D modeling startup called My3D Meta. So back in 2010, Harsha P. Deka had started MyWare Solutions while in the United States offering game development and 3D modeling services to his customers. And it was during this time in Harsha's life that unfortunately he lost a dear friend and he wanted to use photos to create a 3D figurine of this late friend and gift it to this person's parents. But the technology for this process wasn't available at that time, and so in 2016, he started My3D Selfie to create custom 3D figurines using just 2D photos for his customers while still being in the United States. But in the early days, what ended up happening is that he and his team would end up spending multiple days just to build one 3D model from a bunch of 2D photos. And Harsha knew that eventually they would be able to use all of the data that they had collected from these various projects that they had done over the years to train an AI model to actually make this process easier and more seamless. But he decided that he didn't want to continue building this company from the United States. And so instead, he moved back to his home city of Goati in 2019 and continued to build this AI AI model there. And so with this relocation, My3D Selfie evolved into My3D Meta, a company that's developing their latest product called 3Daily, which is a platform built for game designers, helping them to quickly build AI-generated 3D models for their gaming avatars and characters at reduced costs. And they've even raised 20 crore rupees from investors to build the future of gaming and metaverses. All right, moving on to the next Goati-based startup in this list, we have an agritech startup called AgriThink Services. 
So the way that this company started is that Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Goswami had completed her PhD in biotechnology and had been helping low-income women make a living through sustainable farming. But she wasn't satisfied with this. She knew that she wanted to do more. She wanted to have more of an impact. And the only way to improve their farming yield was through something called precision farming. But it wasn't until 2018 when she met Tofik Ahmed, an IT professor, where she found a partner who could help her to do exactly that. The duo started Agrithink Services in 2019 to create IoT-enabled precision farming products to help farmers, and their flagship product is their smart microclimate monitoring and controlling system. This system enables farmers to control irrigation on their farms with the click of a button on their smartphones. The company has been able to raise funds from the Assam government and also from IM Kolkata Innovation Park, which helped them to build their first product, which was a smart soil health management system. Today, more than 10,000 farmers are using their products to improve their crop productivity. All right, coming up next here in Goati, we have a healthcare startup called ERC Eye Care. So Dr. Parviz Ubed was working as an ophthalmologist in Assam when he realized that 2.2 billion people in the world could improve their eyesight simply by getting eyeglasses. But the sad reality is that a lot of people just don't have the funds to afford a decent pair of eyeglasses. And so that's the problem that Dr. Parviz wanted to solve. So he started ERC Eye Care in 2011 to deliver affordable eye care solutions focused on low income communities. Focused on the eastern part of India, they've opened eight hospitals so far where they conduct cataract surgeries for their patients, and also they sell eyewear glasses through their own website. And while other hospitals in tier two cities offer cataract surgeries at an average price of 10,000 rupees, ERC Eye Care's cataract surgeries start at just 3,327 rupees, which also includes travel, accommodation, and food charges as well. On top of that, their eyeglasses are sold at a starting price of just 300 rupees. And the reason their prices are so low is because they're on a mission to make them more affordable for people. And basically 75% of their customers are earning less than 15,000 rupees per month. And at first, honestly, I didn't think that ERC Eye Care was even making any money. I just couldn't imagine how they would be able to. But we actually talked to Dr. Parviz who told us that they didn't just close FY23 with $2 million in revenue but also the company is profitable. Okay, and now we have the final company from Goati in this list, which is an eco-travel startup called NCAMP Adventures. The company was founded by Ratan Kumar in 2019 and basically started its journey at the Zero Music Festival, where they hosted 50 people at their tents. But since then, NCAMP has evolved into providing eco-friendly end-to-end personalized travel experiences for environmentally conscious travelers. In fact, they've even built a carbon footprint tracker, which shows travelers their carbon footprint based on the choices that they made during their trip, from the mode of transport that they took to the length of the trip itself. NCAMP also allows their customers to choose donations for one of the climate action projects that they're working on in the community to help them offset their carbon footprint. And this startup has already served 10,000 travelers so far and has also raised 1.2 crore rupees from their investors to expand their presence into Nepal and Bhutan. All right, now we're gonna make our way over to the city of Dispur, where we have an Assamese music streaming platform called Bahi. And the story of this company really begins in Odisha. So it was while studying engineering at a college in that state that Brinmoy Kumar dreamt about becoming a civil servant. But later on, he was shocked to see that while Spotify did have music in English and Hindi, there wasn't any big platform for regional music in India. And so in 2019, Brinmoy got together with three of his friends and started working on a prototype for a regional music platform called Bahi. By 2020, they had launched this platform on the Google Play Store, which was Northeast India's first regional music streaming platform. And thanks to Assam startups, The Nest, but he was able to get incubated at IAM Kolkata's Innovation Park and even managed to secure 56.5 lakh rupees in funding. This capital has helped them to scale their business and also to launch their own music production arm called Bahi Originals. Today, Bahi has a huge library of 20,000 songs and a subscriber base of 2 lakh users. And while they started with just Assamese music, Music, but he now wants to become the go-to platform for all regional music streaming in India, starting with Northeast India. All right, now we're going to move over to another city, Jorhat, where we have a home decor brand called Craft Inn. This startup was founded by two brothers, Parakit Porkatoki and Paramatesh Porkatoki in 2015. And basically what they're doing is manufacturing eco-friendly home decor products using locally available sustainable materials like bamboo, cane, and water hyacinth. 
Now, these products are sold under two brands, Craftin and Rupohi. And basically, this company is working with more than 350 artisans and workers, providing them with a stable source of income in a largely unorganized industry. And Paramatesh told us that Craftin sold products worth 1.44 crore rupees in FY23, while also tripling the income of these artisans. Oh, and they've also raised 50 lakh rupees and have also set an ambitious goal of building a global D2C brand out of Assam in the next five years. Okay, now we're going to make our way over to the town of Jagi Road, where we have an online fish marketplace called Fishwale. Founded by Razakul Islam and Farhana Tasneem in 2021, Fishwale provides a platform for fish farmers to buy inputs like quality fish feed at reasonable prices and also lets them sell their fresh produce directly to buyers. Now, at the moment, the startup is only serving people in Assam, but they've already managed to onboard more than 12,000 customers and they've brought in close to 4.8 crore rupees in revenue in FY23 while also being being profitable. While building Fishwale in a town instead of a big city like, for example, Goati has helped Razakul and his team stay close to the farmers that they're serving and also reduce their customer acquisition cost, he does admit that it is still a challenge to get investor attention and raise funds to scale their business. Despite this, though, Fishwale has managed to raise one crore rupees and now they want to take their platform to farmers outside of just Assam. And then the final company on this list is from Mangaldoi and it's a D2C tea brand called Esa Tea. So back in 2017, Bijit Sharma started a company called Ruloi Tea by convincing local tea growers to adopt organic farming and started selling these teas through online marketplaces. And as the company's sales began to grow, Bijit rebranded Ruloi Tea to Esa Tea in 2018 and started exporting this organic tea to countries outside of India. But it wasn't until 2020 that they actually set up their own D2C website and started selling tea on their own platform. And one thing that's great about their tea is that instead of using synthetic tea bags made of nylon or plastic, they're using cotton tea bags which are better for the environment and also for the people consuming the tea. Starting with just 100 customers, today Esa Tea offers more than 60 organic tea variants sourced locally which are being sold to over 80,000 people globally. And they've also raised 3 crore rupees from their investors to expand their offline presence from 600 stores to 5,000 stores in 2024. All right, those were our picks for the top 10 startups in Assam. And if you enjoyed this video, you might also like the video that we made about the top 10 startups in Mizoram. You can find a link to that video in the top right corner of your screen. But either way, thank you so much for watching this episode of Backstage with Millionaires, and I will catch you in the next one.